Hi, this is Jeff of Tau Flader Mouse. Welcome back. To many people, flechettes are the epitome of the most nastiest, badass projectiles you can shoot. To those who have actually shot them out of a shotgun, well, the reputation's quite a bit different. Now, these are made out of hard steel. They're about one inch long, and they do have fins and a very sharp nose. But these things are really lightweight. It takes three of them just to equal one gram, if, if you want to trust my cheapo scale. Now, since these have those integral fletchings on the back. They're uh, pretty big on the back, so trying to stack them uniformly into a shell is difficult if you want them all pointed forward. So they're often staggered just like that. Half of them are pointed forward, half of them are pointed backwards. So when you shoot them, the ones going backwards will flip around and start flying straight like a dart, right? And that's what it looks like when you load them into a shell. There's about 30 of them in each shell. Now in an effort to try to protect my barrel, I use this real heavy wall wadding from a shell that originally had steel shot in it. Shooting for us today is Nick and Baron, and they will be shooting at our target, Doug the Thug. That's right. Now we fired about 30 of these from only 10 yards away. The spread was huge. Uh, none of them went through the plate. I don't even hardly see any damage on the plate. However, maybe about 10 of them actually stuck into Rubber Duggy. Uh, some of them went in backwards. A lot of them went in kind of sideways at weird angles and stuff. But for the most part, they were just kind of superficial wounds. Now, it's kind of a nightmare from a videography standpoint to try to film skinny little black objects because, you know, what do you focus on, right? But, you know, we can get an idea of what's going on, even with my budget cameras. And they're really not doing what you would expect them to do. They're not flying very straight. There's a little cluster of them that are all stuck together for some reason. I don't understand why that is. You can see a, a couple of them trying to fly straight. But for the most part, the majority of them are just tumbling through the air. No control at all. So let's try one that's bound together with wax, because people think that will work. And of course it broke apart because wax is very weak. A wax lug holds together because of its aggregate strength. It's uh, the way the little light shot stacks together is what makes it strong, not the wax. But once again, we see some real weird damage they, someone went into the plate sideways and stuff like that. Now, to be fair, to some degree, the wax did keep some of them bound together. We don't see that radical spread. Most of them did seem to hit the plate. But, of course, there's absolutely no stability now, now that you have a bunch of flechettes all clustered together with wax, right? Now, this whole wax flechette idea wasn't my idea. This is from viewers who think stuff like this is gonna work but it just it just compounds the problem as you can see they're not flying straight so you just have a bunch of big blobs of steel kind of randomly hitting things now I'm sure some people are punching their screen saying you didn't give them time to stabilize well this is a box we set out there in the field at 50 yards and you could see how much those things scattered and none of them hit the box now, if you do a search on YouTube for flechettes out of a shotgun, you will see pretty much identical results that we got today. The reputation of these things as a weapon is grossly overrated. However, the reputation they have to people who actually took them out and shot them is that these things will really jack up and scar up the barrel of your shotgun. Now, I want to thank Granite State Guns for sending these to us to test out. Uh, we would have shot more, but boy, man... I, I did get a few scars on my barrel, but if you want to find out more about these flechettes, be sure to check out his website. I have a link in the description, and he goes into much more detail about these things than I did here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. And I know what you're thinking. This is some sort of internet trickery. You're lying to us. Well, here's the barrel, so there you go. I think that'll rub out. What do you think?